Hi, I'm Emma Rawson, a technical officer at the ATT, and I'm here today to talk to you about the wonderful and sometimes weird world of VAT. VAT, or Value Added Tax to give it its full name, has been with us for over 50 years, and it really is one of the most important taxes out there. Why is that? Well, for starters, it's the one tax that pretty much everyone has paid at some point in their lives. It doesn't matter if you have a job or not, if you're still in school or college, if you've so much as bought a chocolate bar or a toy in the past, it's likely that you've paid VAT. That's because, unlike many other taxes which are based on money we make, VAT is a tax you pay when you buy things. Businesses add VAT to the costs of things you buy from them, and then they pay the VAT that they collect over to the government. And that brings in a lot of money, over 150 billion a year, based on the latest figures we've got. That's 150 billion pounds to pay for schools, hospitals, benefits, and so on. Overall, more than the fifth of all the tax collected in the UK is VAT. And that's also a fascinating tax and that can often be weird and wonderful. As I mentioned before, businesses charge VAT on goods and services. Sounds relatively simple but it's anything but. For starters, not everything we buy has VAT on it. Some things are exempt from VAT, such as education and most medical treatments. If something isn't exempt, there's then three possible rates of VAT, a zero rate of 0%, a reduced rate of 5%, and a standard rate of 20%. Now, unfortunately, it's not always clear what rate of VAT we should be charging on a product. And that question can really throw up some interesting results. For example, one of the most famous arguments in VAT centred on Jaffa cakes. Specifically, is a Jaffa cake a cake or is it a biscuit? Now this was actually a really important question, as if it was a cake, it would have had a zero rate of VAT, but if it was a biscuit, VAT would have had to be charged at the standard rate of 20%. And this argument actually ended up in court where it was decided that Jaffa cake was, in fact, a cake. But it was no easy decision to make. The name alone didn't make it a cake. Instead, the court had to look at a number of factors, carefully considering the ingredients, the texture, whether when it went stale, it hardened like a cake or went soft like a biscuit. And that's not the only oddity, especially when it comes to food and drink. Did you know that shortbread is treated differently depending on whether it's millionaire's shortbread or just chocolate covered shortbread. Or that chocolate flavoured Nesquik milkshake powders are zero rated, but strawberry and banana flavoured ones attract the full rate of that. Finally, and just to prove it's not just food where you get these bizarre rules, children's clothing made from goat skin can be zero rated unless the goat in question came from Yemen, Mongolia or Tibet. Now these quirks and oddities have arisen for a variety of reasons in the 50 odd years that VAT has been with us. And while they result in some fun stories, they also reflect just how complicated and convoluted things can be in the world of VAT. In fact, despite being the tax which is paid by nearly everyone, it's probably the one that's the least understood. With more and more products being developed by businesses, it's likely we'll continue to see these issues crop up. Who knows what might be the next biscuit or cake argument?